iteachgeek.com. <laughs> Ask Brian. That's me. Welcome to I Teach Geek. I'm your host, Rashad. I'm here to show you how to install PHP on 2008 server R2 using the IIS web server. Um, first thing we want to do, if you don't have the web server installed already, we can go ahead and add a role. Go ahead and click here. All right, when you come here, we want to select this. Three, these three extensions. Press next. Go ahead and install it. All right, let's go ahead and close. All right, let's go see the web server is up and running. So we can go ahead and go to start. We'll go to Internet Explorer. Up here in the web bar, we want to go ahead and put localhost. All right, so now we know that the web server is up and running. All right, on the helpful tools, I have a file called PHP Tools. You can download that and it has all the things you need for this tutorial. If not, you can just follow along and download it yourself. You can download the PHP from php.net and I'll show you how to do the other things without installing, downloading the PHP tools. So let's go ahead and go into our PHP tools. And here I have the latest version of PHP. So we're going to go ahead and open that up. All right, so now we want to go to the start computer, go to the C drive. Let's create a new directory. We're going to call it PHP. All right, let's go ahead and open up PHP. Now we want to go ahead and drag all the files that's in that zip file into your PHP. All right, let's go ahead and close all this. We want to go ahead and open up our web server. All right, once we get on our web server, we want to go ahead and click on the name of our web server. Now let's go to handler mapping. We want to go ahead and add a module. All right, we're going ahead and type these things in. Go down here and click on this. Now we need to go where our PHP file is at. So we go in here. We want to change this to executables. All right, we want to pick this file right here. And you can name it whatever you want. I'm just going to name my PHP 5. Go OK. We're going to press OK. Say yes. All right. In PHP tools, we're going to go back to PHP tools. We got a text file right here. This is a PHP info. This is how we're going to test to see if PHP is working and successfully on your system. Uh, it's a text file right now, so we want to go ahead and save as and make it a PHP file. So go to file, save as. And we want to go ahead and put it in our root directory of our IIS server. So we go here, C, click on here root let's go ahead and put on all click on all files all right now go we want to put at the end of this dot php press save all right now let's go ahead and go back 
to Internet Explorer. Put localhost slash php info dot php. And we're going to press enter. All right, this should come up. And notice it's not telling us where our INI file is. We don't. It doesn't show. So we got to do a couple more things. So next thing we want to do is go back to that PHP folder. Notice we have two different INI fo uh, file types in here. You can use either one of them. But uh, let's go ahead and rename this one. And go back here. Let's go ahead and delete development. Say yes. All right. Double click on there. All right, in PHP tools, if you're using this, I have the config file already configured for you, or you can go through and do it yourself. But if you do it yourself, you go ahead and double click on here and these are things that you have to uncomment and change so we can go ahead and do this so we can see both of them all right it's a lot of things on this page so we can go ahead and go to edit we're going to find so if you if you do have this file open you can go ahead and find these like this or you can just type it in either way so let's go ahead and find this one here it goes right here so we want to go ahead and put this right next to it. And this is for your time zone. So we go ahead and delete. You got to make sure you delete this, the semicolons. All right. The next thing we need to find is the extension directory. All right, let's go ahead and uncomment it by deleting that. Now we want to put the directory of where our C drive's extensions are. Your default C drive should be, your default path to your extensions should be C, PHP, if you put on the C drive, slash E, X, T. All right, and then the last thing we want to do Let's go ahead and uncomment your SQL things so you'll be able to connect to the SQL. So you come down here. Let's go ahead and, and uncomment these. All right, you go to File and we're going to save it. And like I said again, if you just copy the INI file from my PHP tools, it has all that uncommented out for you. Now the last thing we want to do to make everything work, we want to go to start. Computer. We want to go ahead and right click. Properties. Advanced system settings. We're going to here. All right, we're going to go ahead and look for path on here. All right, we're going to go to the end of this. We're going to put semicolons to close this one. And then we're going to put C. We're going to put the path where the PHP is at, slash PHP. We're going to press OK. And then we want to go ahead and create a new one. We're going to call this PHP. And then the value is going to be the path again. So C slash PHP. We press OK. OK. All right. Now we have to restart the computer. And we'll come back. We're going to test to see if the 
PHP info file is working again. So let's go ahead and restart. Okay, we're back. Let's go to start. Go back to Internet Explorer. We're going ahead and put local host in. Slash PHP again, PHP info. All right, now notice you see loaded configure file. We want to make sure that that's a C slash PHP and then the information file. Um, and the, if you're trying to install WordPress, I do ha have it already in PHP tools for you. And I have a tutorial on how to install and configure your database. So look out for my tutorial on that. Um, you have successfully installed PHP. You can go ahead and start putting files and stuff into that directory. I'm your host Rashad. Thanks for watching.